you've mentioned a number of times how predictive IQ tests are and implicit in this discussion of college admissions is that IQ tests are predictive of competence and success in academia. And this leads me to wonder before we move on from psychometrics, just how much and what sort of research has been done on what sort of tasks someone with a certain IQ can or can't be expected to accomplish or how intelligence, general intelligence correlates with success in various endeavors like business, medicine, or academia? Tremendous research on it. There's a lot of data on it. Uh, you can summarize it uh, fairly easily. Just if you rank jobs by the complexity of the job, then IQ becomes very predictive in complex jobs. So if you, you, a complex job would be the CEO of a major corporation. A chemist is a complex job. A physicist is a complex job. Uh, a, a data manager is a complex job. Um, less complex jobs are food service is not that complicated a job. Uh, janitorial work is not that complicated a job in most cases. Uh, in some cases, it's highly complex. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of study of this, and you can find uh, all kinds of predictions, but they are probabilities. You know, there's also some evidence that people with IQs between 85 and 100, if they go to college, actually benefit from college. So um, people want to know... Will I gain anything by knowing my IQ score? I get emails all the time from people who say, "My, I had my IQ tested. It, it's X. Does that mean I shouldn't apply to graduate school?" And the answer is no. That's not what it means. You you try to do whatever you want to do. You may succeed. You may fail. The IQ score may give you a probability, but it's not determinative in, in a literal sense. You know. Um, it's all probability. And there are lots of factors to success. I mean, there are, there are many people who have very high G and you wouldn't want to have dinner with them. They're just kind of unpleasant people. You know, I, my appointments have been in medical schools. Almost everybody I, I know on the faculty, that's very high G. Some of them are dishonest people. <laughs> Some of them are unpleasant people. Some of them are people I would not invite into my home. <laughs> so just having high G isn't necessarily all you want to know about a person. Mm -hmm. Is high G synonymous for high IQ? Uh, it's not synonymous. I mean, th there are th these distinctions. Uh, but in the vernacular for everyday conversation, they're used synonymously.